guys welcome back to my channel my name is Emily if you are new here and for today's video it's gonna be my June favorites because we're already in July first off again how did that happen so I hope you all are having an awesome July I know this video is gonna be up like halfway through July but just for future reference if anybody wanted to look back at all of my month's favorites I don't want to miss a month also I know I say this every week, but every single week I'm having some sort of spray tan or foundation issue because nothing ever seems to match, but let's just look past it. So for today's video, I was going to be sharing with you all some of my favorites from this past June, and I hope you all enjoy watching. If you like favorites videos, be sure to give this video a thumbs up so I know to keep on making them. And yeah, let's just go ahead and get started with all my favorites from this past month. So my first favorite product was this NYX Radiant Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray. I don't know about you all, but I have super oily skin, like an oil slick slick. I had tried the matte one of these back when I was in college and I really liked it. And for some reason, I just forgot about like setting spray when the whole like 2020 situation happened because we weren't going anywhere. And for the last, you know, so long that we have been able to go places, my makeup was always like sliding off and I was like, what is going on? And then I remembered it's because you've not been wearing your setting spray. So I went to the store and I saw they had a radiant finish one. And to me, honestly, I can't tell much of a difference. So I like the radiant finish just as well as the matte finish but I would recommend the NYX setting spray if you have oily skin I like it pretty well it works pretty well for me so I've been liking this product this month I also tried a new body wash this month this one is just the sunrise yoga scent from Bath and Body Works it says it's made with mandarin spearmint juniper berries and it's supposed to inspire balance and vitality interesting I just really love the smell of this it's just like a bright citrusy scent if you love like citrus scents I would definitely recommend this body wash I got it as part of the semi-annual sale that's happening at Bath and Body Works right now and it was only like three dollars and fifty cents I picked me up one and my mom up one and I really wish I would have picked myself up some more because I love this body wash and then the last like beauty favorite I have is just another Sally Hansen insta dry polish if you saw my last favorites video I talked about these polishes I really like them and I tried a new color this month so this is just the in a blush color it's just like a baby pink honestly it's kind of like even just like a cream color when you first put it on it's kind of you have to build it up to make it more pinky but i really like this shade because it's a super cute neutral color and i'm much more into neutral nails i think than bright nails but i don't know for the summer i'm thinking maybe i should go a little bit brighter next month so we'll see if i switch it up also shout out to my sister julie who watched my last favorites video and actually went out and bought one of these and like told me she liked it thanks julie you're making me feel like i'm a real youtuber <laughs> so i have quite a few like food favorites as always because i'm always on the lookout for new snacks so the first thing I tried this month was a new kombucha as always. I literally have been drinking one today. I'm a kombucha lover and I found a new flavor at Target for my favorite brand is the Health Aid Kombucha and this one is called Strawberry Glow. They had quite a few new flavors at Target but I reeled myself in and just let myself try one at a time and the Strawberry Glow one literally tastes like strawberries and cream to me. If you like strawberries and cream and you like kombucha, I would definitely recommend trying this one. I found it at Target so if you could find it there, definitely try it because it's super super yummy. Keeping on with my tea theme i have been obsessed with the v8 sparkle energy drinks well they're like i don't even know if you consider them energy drink i just consider them like a fruit juice tea kind of drink because they're steady energy from black and green tea i'm a big tea drinker you know from the kombucha i just mentioned <laughs> these are basically just fruit juice mixed with tea and then sparkling water so there's no added sugar or anything like that these are so yummy so right here i have the strawberry kiwi flavor but they also come in orange pineapple and black cherry i've bought them all i found them at the Dollar General you can get them in like the single cans but at Walmart you can get them in a four pack for four dollars so they're actually a better deal if you could find these at Walmart these are delicious I think these are pretty healthy who actually knows you know with labeling and whatnot but I would definitely recommend trying these if you like fizzy drinks like it's kind of like a much more flavorful LaCroix so if you like LaCroix why is that so hard to say LaCroix 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 wow they have it LaCroix if you like those kind of drinks, I would definitely recommend trying these. And then, as always, I wanted to share my favorite HelloFresh of the month. And my favorite HelloFresh meal we tried was the Mediterranean salad with lemon hummus dressing. This salad was so delicious. So I would definitely recommend this salad next time it comes on HelloFresh. If you do HelloFresh, I loved it. The next favorite thing I have this month is this wallet. I actually got this wallet at Box Lunch. I ordered it online and the reason I needed to buy a new wallet was because I had a old wallet. It was from Steve Madden. I got it at TJ Maxx like five years ago and I loved it. There was nothing wrong with it but I accidentally spilled some Mentos gum in my backpack and then the gum melted because it left my backpack in the car and it got all over the zipper and when I tried to open the zipper it basically like ripped off and I 
I could not zip it back up. So I had to buy a new wallet. So I went on Box Lunch. I found this really cute Winnie the Pooh one. It has this like white detailing. It's like kind of like see-through on it. I saw that it also came in a backpack form. So I picked up this little backpack because I thought it would be so cute when we went to Florida. So I picked up this backpack for the month of June and I have been loving it. I'm definitely much more of a backpack person than a purse person. Purse person? So I got this backpack and I've been loving it. Taylor Swift Evermore Vinyl. I finally found her at Walmart. For some reason, I didn't want the red one, like the deluxe one that came out at Target because I was just like, red is not the vibe of Evermore. Like, I don't know why she made it red. Meanwhile, like that was an Easter egg and it totally went over my head. I had no idea. I was like, red? Why yeah. would she make that red? Evermore is like a green or like a cream album. Like it's not red. And then like after she announced it, the next Taylor's version album was gonna be red, I was like, oh. That's what that was. And I saw where it was gonna be a green one also. So I was like, ooh, green is definitely the vibe of Evermore. So I went to Walmart. Isn't this such like the Evermore vibe? I felt like it was gonna be green or like cream colored. So this is what the Evermore vinyl looks like. And I love it. It's kind of odd. I feel like it's definitely not like a summery album. It's definitely more of like a winter album to me, but I've been loving this this month. <laughs> Another favorite of mine this month was the Pokemon Snap game for the Nintendo Switch. I have the little Switch Mini, or is this the Switch Lite? I think it may be called the Switch Lite. I'm not sure. I have it in the yellow color because yellow is my favorite color. I have been loving playing this on my Switch. It's basically like a game where you just like go through these little trails and like take pictures of Pokemon. And I have been obsessed with this. The only thing I'll say about it is I played it in the car one time and it made me the most motion sick I have been in a very long time. So I would not recommend playing Pokemon Snap in the car, but I would recommend it overall. I think it's so cute. On the hunt to find Lapras in this game. I have not found her yet, but I'm trying my hardest to find her. So I would definitely recommend Pokemon Snap if you have a Switch. Perhaps my favorite thing of the whole entire month was my comfy. I got a new comfy, you guys. If you don't know what the comfy is, it's basically just like a wearable blanket is the best way I think they describe it. It's just like a wearable blanket. And I got the color, it's I think Cotton Candy Dream is what it's called. It's called the Comfy Dream. I have the original comfy in pink and I saw they came out with a dream one. So I was like, what is this a dream about? That sounds fun. I picked myself up this one and it is so beautiful. I love this comfy. It's definitely more lightweight than the original comfy the original one has sherpa on the inside and this one is just like a nice fleecy blanket so it's much lighter so i consider this like my summertime comfy and then my sherpa one's like my wintertime comfy and since i bought this my boyfriend became seemingly jealous of it so I bought another comfy dream for him as like a little gift. So I picked him up this one. It just has little like fireworks on it. It's like a summer special. So now we both have a comfy to wear. Since we saw my family for Father's Day in June, my mom saw both of us in our comfies and she wanted one. So I bought one more comfy this month for my mom as a birthday present because her birthday is July 1st. So hers is just baby blue. I'm not taking out of the box because obviously it's not mine, but yeah. And those are all my favorites for the month of June. I hope you all enjoyed watching. If you like favorite videos, be sure to thumbs this video up so I know to keep on making them. And I hope you guys are having an awesome day and I'll see you all next week for another video. Bye guys.